the monkey and the firefly long long ago far away on top of a very tall mountain during a very cold season there lived a monkey monkey sat on top of his tree and he was feeling so cold his teeth were chattering <laughs> He tried to blow on his hands and his toes and feet, trying to make himself warm, but it was not possible. There was snow covering every place and even water was dripping down from the treetops. He didn't know how to keep himself warm. He felt he had to do something, otherwise he was going to be in a really bad situation monkeys the tip of his nose his eyebrows was covered with icicles it was so cold shivering and he was sitting on top of the tree trying to find if he could see find any kind of help he could seek help he thought maybe if i go down the tall tree go down and gather all the dead leaves and make it into a blanket it will keep me warm so quickly he got down from the tree, he came down and he sat down at the base of the tree and collected all the leaves and covered himself with it. He waited for a few minutes, no hope, he was still cold. Then he thought, let me go up the tree and let me see what I can do. He again climbed back to the tree and he was looking. Far away he saw someone walk into a clearing some distance from him. The man was carrying a gun. Hmm, must be a hunter, thought the monkey. The hunter quickly came down, placed his gun under the tree and took out his backpack, placed it on the ground and there he gathered some dried sticks that were lying around. He placed them on a cone on the floor in a circle and then he took out a matchbox and he lit srak and he set it to the dried leaves and twigs. Quickly the fire started burning. The hunter stretched out his hands, warmed himself, stretched out his bloated feet trying to get warm. Monkey was watching from the top of the tree. He said, what an amazing plan. There is this hunter who has these, who has a fire. Let me go and if I can share the fire. Quickly, look, 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 look. he came down from the tree, he ran, ran. <gasps> he froze. He remembered this was a hunter. No way he could go near a hunter. So he quickly hid behind a tree looking this way and that from behind the tree he tried putting out his legs oh, maybe his feet will get warm oh, oh no maybe his hands will get warm oh, he stretched out and tried to put his hands out and then he said oh maybe maybe my tail oh, oh. it looked felt better but he didn't feel warm enough oh. the fire was so near but so unreachable Monkey thought, oh, okay, I saw how he made the fire. Maybe I can make a fire myself. He quickly ran back to his own tree. There he got down and he collected the twigs, the dried twigs, the dried leaves. He set it out into a cone like that. Once it was ready, oh, he didn't have a matchbox. How was he going to light it? Ah, oh, what could he do? Then he, it was at that moment, he heard something. He heard a tiny voice singing, la 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 flying and coming. It was a glowworm, Min Mini. Min Mini was 
quietly going about her business. Not exactly quietly. She was just singing to herself. She was so happy that morning. She was singing, la 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 Monkey saw Min Mini and the glow on her tail. Oh, he has someone with a fire, he thought. And then he was waiting and waiting and Min Mini came down. La 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 la. Oh, monkey in one leap, he jumped and caught her. Oh, he looked inside. Oh, she was there inside his arms. Oh, as you could have guessed, Min Mini hated it. She didn't want anyone to catch her while she was flying. She started yelling and shouting, Hey, you stupid monkey, let me out. What do you think you're doing catching me like that? <laughs> but monkey didn't want to let her go. He caught her and said, you must help me light my fire, he said. What? Light your fire? You stupid monkey, it's only a glow on my tail, it's not a fire. I can't light your fire, it's only light. Oh no, I don't believe you. I want you to come and light my fire, please help me. But Min Minnie knew she couldn't help the monkey, it was only light. But monkey was not willing to understand. They argued back and forth and Min Mini kept telling, you horrible monkey, let me go. What are you doing holding on to me like this? I don't want to be caught. Let me go. But monkey, who had no other recourse, thought some way, some means, somebody is going to help him. So he kept telling, no, no, Min Mini, you have to light my fire. Not only did he say that, he caught her and he put her into the tiny cone of twigs and leaves so that she couldn't escape. Min Mini stood there holding the twigs, not able to come out, shouting at him. He said, monkey, let me go, let me go. She shouted again and again. But monkey, who was shivering his fingers and toes, so cold, said, please light my fire. Min Mini decided there was no way you could speak reason with such an unreasonable person. Even the monkey looked mad to her. She decided, let me go along with him and see what happens. So she said, okay, okay, monkey, set me free. I will go out and I will get you a fire. <sighs> monkey thought this was a good plan. So, you sure, you sure you'll get me a fire? He said, yes, I will help you light a fire. Let me out, come on, get me out. And slowly monkey leaned forward to remove the sticks. Min Mini had no intention of coming back or to help the monkey in any way. But as soon as the sticks were removed and she came out, she wanted to escape. Clearly she flew. But as soon as she went high enough, she stood there and she turned around and looked at Monkey. Monkey was sitting down at the base of the tree. He was huddled. His toes and fingers and his teeth <laughs> chattering. At that moment, Min Mini knew, if I don't help Monkey now, Monkey might not survive the night. She knew that she was the only person there who could help monkey. All right, she gave a sigh. And then she flew and she came to the hunter's fire. She knew that the hunter would hunt the monkey, but not a firefly. So she flew near the fire. She picked up a tiny little leaf and put it into the flame and picked it up in her tiny, tiny, tiny legs. And then because it was smoking and fire, it was so hot. She held on to the tiny leaf and she flew and she flew and she flew hurriedly before her legs could get singed. She came quickly to the cone of twigs that monkey had set down on the ground. She dropped her burning leaf into the twigs. And soon there was a fire. The leaves began to catch, the twigs caught, became a fire. Oh, monkey was so happy. He ran and he said, oh, thank 
thank you, Min Minnie, thank you so much, he said. And then he warmed his feet, he warmed his legs, he warmed even his tail. And that was how Monkey and Firefly became, a fr became friends for a long time.